So, I wasn't going to make a video today. I have a lot of work to do and I really just wanted to get things done. But, I found this article. Hillary Clinton fires back at critics. No one told a man who lost an election to shut up. I'm going to read a bit of this to you, okay? Here it goes. Hillary Clinton is striking back at critics, telling her to shut up following her loss in the 2016 presidential election, saying they never said that to any man who was not elected. Now, here's the thing. It already sounds like, may oh, maybe this article was written in like December 2016 or early 2017. No, no, no. The date... This article is by Judy Kurtz in TheHill.com, March 29th, 2018, 5.32 p.m. Oh my goodness. Hillary continues, I was really struck by how people said that to me. You know, mostly people in the press, for whatever reason, mostly, go away, go away, Clinton said Thursday during an event at Rutgers University. And I had one of the young people who works for me go back and do a bit of research. They never said that to any man who was not elected. I was kind of struck by that, Clinton said. Clinton, it's not the fact that you're a woman. It's the fact that you were unfit to be president. You were unpopular. You were clearly an awful, ghoulish person. There were things that you were not telling us, that it was clear that you were not telling us. There were things that you've been hiding from the American people for years. And your husband is a ghoulish, creepy man as well. He used to be super cool until he turned into Uncle Touchy. Okay? So there's that. And then there's the fact that you ran on the platform of I'm with her. How freaking narcissistic can you get? Donald Trump ran on let's make America great again. America, all of us, everybody. Hillary, just me. You're with me. Just, just the blatant narcissism. And you know what? Maybe it could have been chalked up to just, I don't know, bad planning. Somebody not doing their full diligence in creating your platform, but then you continued. See, if you had said this when, when you were first complaining in December 2016, early 2017, nobody was telling you to shut up. They were just like, ah, eh, she lost. She's feeling it pretty hard. Let's just let her vent and move on. But then it got into summer 2017 and then fall and then winter 2017. Now it's now it's almost April 2018, and you're still talking about it, and you're still looking for anybody to blame, and you're going to foreign countries and telling them that middle America's women are cowed and defeated, and they don't have feminism in middle, middle America, and they're stupid or scared of their husbands, and that they are beholden to their men. You're going to foreign countries and bad-mouthing America, Hillary. And you still think that you losing is because you are a woman? I don't know. I could see Dana Lash winning. I could see I could see any number of women winning the presidency, but not a Clinton. In fact, I would recommend that you probably do your best to ensure that your daughter does not ever run for office of the U.S. presidency. Because it's going to be awful for you and for her. And I'm sure that your narcissism and your obsessive self-love has rubbed off on her. I pity anyone who associates with you. I pity anyone who has to be you, Hillary. There's really not much else in this article. Clinton's remarks came in response to a question from Eagleton Institute of Politics Director Ruth Mandel about the former Democratic nominee's reaction to those who said 
she should get off the public stage and shut up. You know, Ruth, she should get off the public stage and shut up. Just like David Hogg is right now, so is Hillary. No longer endearing herself to the American people. She is showing her true colors. And it's becoming clear that she is not fit for politics at all, let alone the United States presidency. Come on, let it go. And I'm going to let it go too. Hey, people, I need subscribers. Why don't you go ahead and hit that watermark right there and uh, subscribe to my program. I am putting out content every day. The quality is just going up. I mean, it can't really do anything but go up. It's already at the bottom, right? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and like this. Go ahead and share this. Share this with everybody. Share this with the most leftist people you can find because I really want this to get to Hillary herself. She needs to know that we're tired of her and that we're getting tired of the left in general. In the meantime, goodbye.